In this lesson, we are going to analyze a different approach to derive dimensionless parameters for specific problems. The theory behind this process is the Buckingham Pi theorem. Let's find out how to use this and how to derive dimensionless parameters. For a given problem, we can determine dimensionless parameters without using the governing equations and obtaining the parameters through a non-dimensionalization of the equations. This can be done using the Buckingham Pi theorem. The theorem can be stated as for a given problem described by a set of equations based on k physical variables, we can define n dimensionless pi parameters where n is the difference between the number k of physical variables and the number p of fundamental quantities that describes them. Every physical variable can be described through fundamental quantities. For example, in this table we can see that the different variables such as volume, acceleration, pressure and density can be described by just three different fundamental quantities length L, mass M and time T. Let's get a better understanding of this theorem applying it to a common case. So, let's consider a flow in a pipe. The pressure drop along the pipe depends on five variables. Length, diameter, density, velocity and viscosity. So we have a total of six physical variables, including the pressure drop. This can be defined simply through three different fundamental quantities, length, mass and time. Hence, applying the Buckingham Pi theorem, we know that we can create three-dimensionless groups. Let's start with the first one. We set the diameter, the velocity and the density as repeating quantities, and the first non-repeating quantity will be the pressure drop. The first pi parameter is a function of these four variables, and we can express it in this form. The next step is to substitute each single variable into the fundamental quantities that describes them. We can then rewrite this expression, grouping the length, the mass and the time terms together. The exponents of each fundamental quantity must be zero, so that the parameter pi is dimensionless. In this way, we can set the three exponent expressions equal to zero, and we derive this final condition, where a is equal to zero, c is equal to minus d, and b is equal to minus 2d. Substituting the results into the exponent of the physical variables for the dimensionless parameter and setting d equal to 1, we obtain the first dimensionless parameter, that is the ratio of the pressure drop to twice the dynamic pressure term. The other two dimensionless groups can be found using the same approach. We keep the same three repeating quantities, diameter, velocity and density, and we change the last variable to the viscosity and to the pipe length. Using the same steps applied for the first dimensionless group, we can find that the second dimensionless group will be the inverse of the Reynolds number, and the third one will be a simple ratio between the length of the pipe and its diameter. As you can see, the Buckingham Pi theorem gives us a way to derive dimensionless parameters for a specific problem and given variables without relying on governing equations. 
The theorem provides a methodology to obtain dimensionless parameters without giving details of their physical significance. For example, the ratio of two variables defined by the same fundamental quantity will eventually define a dimensional group. Also, the resulting parameters may be expressed in many different forms that may differ to the customary ex used expressions. As, for example, what we have seen for the second pi group, that was the inverse of the Reynolds number. The Buckingham Pi theorem can be used to define the dimensionless parameters that we have seen in the previous lesson, such as the Reynolds number or the Pram number, but without the process of non-dimensionalizing the governing equations.